today and every day. Today and every day, Lord, I want to tell you thank you. Today and every day, Lord, I give my life to you. Help me, Lord, to remember that I can always count on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with thee all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Lord. I hope nobody enjoys the chilling weather in the early in the morning. You are enjoying? No. <laughs> okay. But there is no other way. We have to <laughs> accept it. I'm so happy to be with you to celebrate the Holy Mass as a preparation. Take a moment in silence. Remember the sins we committed in different occasions of our life. Ask ourselves whether I violated or broke the Ten Commandments in our life, whether I disobeyed my parents and teachers, did I say lie? Did I use bad words? Did I steal something from somebody? If I committed any one of these sins, let us remember all those. Repent it about it like a prodigal son. Come back with the repentance in our father's house and say to our Lord, I am sorry for all the sins I committed. Together confessing, I confess to Almighty God, to my brothers and sisters. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us for our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who given all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. The Lord says this, I took my people by the hand and taught them how to walk. I was the one who healed them, but they did not know it. I was loving and kind, and I made them want to come to me. I freed them from slavery and tenderly fed them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Can we join in? You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scripture of your power, the Lord will stretch forth from Zion, rule of the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn and he will not repent. You are the priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Thank you. 
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the men, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm so happy to be with you to celebrate this Holy Mass. Though it is very chilling and cold, but we are in a good place, better place in our Lord's house. Today's Gospel at the end, we heard that our Lord Jesus healed here with their handmen restored his hand and sent him back. Then the people who were watching our Lord counseled, gathered together and took offense and discussed to kill him because our Lord did a good thing on the day of Sabbath. By doing this good thing on the day of Sabbath, our Lord was teaching us to follow Him in our everyday life. A new principle, a new idea that is serve the people always, every time, every day. The religion is to be expressed by showing compassion, love, mercy, care, support, help, sympathy and empathy to the people who are deserving our support, who are looking for our help. That is the true religion, the religion of service, looking upon other people's need, making ourselves to help them whatever way we can. Little children, you may not have many occasions to serve others, but you have a lot of occasions while you are in the school. 
You are, there are many children with you, your friends. Sometimes you can help them many ways. The best way you can help them is that speak good about others. Always speak the good words. The power of good words itself is a healing. If somebody is sick or somebody is in need or something or somebody is doing some good things, tell him or to her an appreciation, an acknowledgement, an encouragement. That is the power of the word. When we speak that, the good words by looking into others' good things, and good behavior, they will get a support. They will get good inspiration and they will grow up and they will develop. That's the key what you can do, a good service in the school while you are studying in the school. Always speak good words. The power of word is very important at this age. If we speak good words, and others also will speak to us also good words. If we speak bad words, they also will speak the same way. That is not good, that is evil. What we need is to develop, nurture, cultivate a good habit of speaking good words always, everybody, every time, everywhere. Are you hearing me? Ah, yes. If not here, uh, you can't hear, rise up your hands. Okay? Okay. Second thing, today, we are celebrating the feast of St. Vincent, the deacon who lived in the third century in Spain. He became a martyr. He kept his faith when the persecution was there and never gave up his faith. What he practiced, what he learned from his father and mother, he kept that faith during the time of persecution and accepted and became a martyr through his heroic act, encouragement, keeping his faith, and proclaiming his faith wherever he was during the time of his persecution when they took him to kill him on the way. On the way also he was praising and glorifying Lord saying, Hallelujah. This is what we need to practice, a good example for us to keep our faith every day, everywhere by taking the good example for St. Vincent the deacon who lived in the third century and became a martyr. My dear friends, this is what we need. We try to become a saint by keeping our faith, by practicing our faith and do a heroic life in every world and the life example of this St. Vincent the Deacon encourages, support us to keep our faith one word last. As I told, the power of the word is very important. So try to speak always good words, encouragement, supporting, and thank Lord. Amen.
For all those who work for the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all government workers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, we pray to the Lord. For all staff of St. Anthony's, past and present, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the safe return of all troops, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our in that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable God the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For 
whenever in the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give it thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangel thorns and dominions, and with our hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gives we pray by sending down your spirit upon the like to do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance. And once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out to for and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until Therefore, as we celebrate in the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the child of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in our presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be governed one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis or Pope, Curtis or Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Susie Jamayel Benes, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that he who was united with you, with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life, light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles and all saints who have pleasure toward the ages, we may merit to be co heirs eternal, I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses against us. Alas, and it is not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, whose apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of our church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world Grant
behold the lamp of god behold the him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter into my room but only say, say the lord my soul has you Prayer. 
Lord, please help me to be the vessel that you need through change. Remind me when I pray to focus on your way and change. Keep me on the right road I must journey Every day may my life Point back to you As I open to change Help me open to Let us pray. Pour on us, O oh Lord, in the spirit of your love. And in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to proclaim the good news through your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. You, Same Father. to you, Father. I'm trading my sorrows. Trading my shame. I'm laying them down. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down. My sorrow, I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down. Lord, yes, Lord.
Good morning. Good morning. We'd like to thank our third grade for doing such a wonderful job again this morning with leading us for Mass, as well as our choir and our student musicians in leading us in song. I will ask uh, Mrs. Hubble and our National Junior Honor Society members to come up. Good morning. On September 4th, 2016, Mother Teresa became Saint Teresa of Calcutta. The church celebrated her profound legacy and declared joy with the sainthood before the world. Her tireless efforts on behalf of God's most vulnerable children made her an example to millions worldwide devoted to the struggle for human life and dignity. She said, we shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do. She also said, be kind with your face, your eyes, and with your smile. The following candidates are great examples of that. Our first recipient is just like her father in that you can always find her volunteering at school events. She dedicates herself to the various organizations she is in and is the perfect model of leading by example. As a student ambassador, she truly represents what a St. Anthony Bulldog is through her commitment, hard work, and devoted faith. Our first recipient is Mary Guillory. Our next recipient has a smile that lights up the room and is kind to everyone she meets. She is generous in her time, treasures, and talents, and promotes St. Anthony's School on a daily basis. She is truly an example of someone who shines Christ's light on everyone she meets. Our next recipient is Geneva Peters. And at this time, um, we have a special group of people here with us. Not all of them were able to make it due to job requirements. However, we have some who were able to make it here this morning, and they are our school board members. Our school board works in conjunction with the school as an advisory group. They help us make decisions. They help us reach our goals. They help us create goals for the school. And without these people, I don't know what I would do, definitely. But they have been just wonderful. And in honor of School Board Appreciation Month, we would like to acknowledge and honor our school board members who are here with us this morning. So if you would please stand and come up to the front. I know we have Mr. Paul Conrad. Mr. Javier Castillo. Mr. Bill Geyer.
Ms. Rosemary Martin. And I think those are all of, well, Mrs. Dixon Peters. <laughs> and we have several others, as I said, who were unable to make it this morning. Um, but I want you to know how hard these people work and they give up, as I said, their time, talents, and treasure to help promote St. Anthony, to help just give us the best school that we can have. And we really appreciate you, and we thank you for your service to the school. So let's give them another big round of applause. And when you see them around school, make sure to tell them thank you. You know, those little, as Father said this morning, kind words. Use good words. Those little words of appreciation, those little words of thanks, they go a long way, I can tell you that. And so when you see people doing things good, make sure to let them know. Can everybody do that? Okay, awesome. Well, as we quietly exit. We are going to all exit through this side door. We have uh, several umbrellas available. I do not want any students walking if it is raining without an umbrella. That is not an option because we don't want you to get sick. So um, third grade, if we could have the third grade come up for the chalice and the cross. Are they doing confessions today? There will be no confessions today. Okay. okay. And we thank Father George for coming out this morning as well. I'm sorry, Father Joe for coming out this morning. Uh, as Mr. Baldwin was saying, all of the priests are on retreat. And so he took a little time to make sure that we had Mass this morning to celebrate with us. Okay. And should we have one bucket of pens? Okay. And, and in our penny challenge, uh, Mr. Baldwin says we have one bucket filled so far. You have four more to go. The challenge ends at the end of the month, if I'm not mistaken. And so you have a little bit of time left to get those four buckets filled. If you are, um, if, and if you do that, then Mr. Baldwin said he would let the eighth grader shave his head. So make sure, if, uh, we want to make sure that we're donating and continue donating for our Super Bowl canned good drive as well. Okay, so as we exit, we will sing our school song and make sure that we're going through this side door and that we get the umbrellas to help uh, cross. Have a great day.